Welcome viewers to TV Box Stop. Today on my channel I have a very special device built on the new MLogic S905X2 hardware. This time it's not a TV box but my first Android TV dongle for 2019 that comes with this new hardware. This is the Acemax X96S MLogic S905X2 Android TV dongle. Coming from the makers of the X96 Max, the performance of this TV dongle is more than what I expected, and I am pleased to share with you my findings on this interesting little device. Coming up next, I have a full performance review and live demonstrations of what this latest TV dongle can do, so stay tuned, you have more after this. Welcome back, and let's start with the package. So this is the box the dongle comes in. All it shows on the box is this Acemax tag here and the X96S logo printed to the top. There are no specifications printed anywhere on the outside, so I will proceed to do a quick unboxing. The X96S runs on the MLogic S905X2 CPU, and we will see its clock speed in a minute. Its display is powered by the new Mali G31 GPU, running up to 650 MHz. It has 4GB of DDR4 RAM, and 32GB of internal storage. It has dual band 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.1 support. In the box, you have the X96S TV dongle itself. You get this infrared remote and an infrared receiver cable. The dongle comes with a USB port, so you can omit the infrared cable and remote, and use a wireless air mouse or mini touchpad keyboard for omnidirectional control of the dongle. You get one USB power cable and this optional 5V 1.5A power adapter. You get this HDMI extension cable. And a user's manual. Let's take a look at what input-output ports we have on this dongle. The dongle itself is made of plastic, and there's a cap here that you have to remove to access the HDMI mail connector. This also protects against dust when not in use. To the side of the dongle, you have a micro SD card reader, a micro USB power input, you have a reset pinhole button, and a connection port for the infrared cable. To the bottom, you have one USB 3.0 port. And to the surface, you have an LED power light. So using the power adapter and cable, I will now connect the dongle to my TV and continue with the review. So I have connected the dongle using the HDMI extension cable, and I am using the power adapter to provide power. I have also connected the infrared receiver cable to work with the included remote control. So upon starting up for the first time and then every time thereafter, what you will see is the X96S logo and boot up animation for a couple of seconds. Then you are taken directly to the launcher. So here we are at the launcher, and this must be the simplest launcher I have ever encountered. It comes with one large YouTube button that cannot be changed, and you also have some shortcuts at the bottom here that also can't be changed. You have a one-click cleanup button, and a clock and weather widget that actually works for once. The launcher does not come with a navigation bar or notifications bar for multitasking, something that comes in handy for users of mouse and touchpad keyboards. Another thing you have upon first start in connecting to the internet, is a prompt for a firmware update. This is a good thing, so simply click the update button and the dongle will do the rest and reboot when finished. During the update process, do not remove power or unplug the HDMI as this would disrupt the flashing of the firmware and brick the dongle. Just leave it alone, it will hang for a while on the boot screen after the update process, this is quite normal. Then it will start up again notifying you that the update was successful. In the apps section, I see they have included the AirScreen app, Chrome browser, KD Player, Mobdro, Netflix, and YouTube. The rest of apps are your standard Android apps. So I will pause for a second to install some apps to complete my review. So I'm back, and I have installed all my apps needed to complete my review. First I'm going to see if alternative launchers work on this dongle. 
The Nova Launcher was the most used alternative launcher for TV boxes, but in recent times the new M-Logic S905X2 hardware seemed to be giving the Nova Launcher some difficulty, where certain features like drag and drop, and the long press pop-out menu option are not working. So the two launchers that are functioning well with the new hardware and provide drag and drop features, are the ADW Launcher 2, and the EV Launcher. So I will now do a quick demonstration of these two launchers. So the alternative launchers work great, with drag and drop features and long press pop-out menu. If the original firmware does not come with a navigation bar the alternative launcher will not have this feature. I am currently working with a developer on a solution to address this issue on TV boxes, and hopefully we can put this issue to rest. Next, I will test to see if screen rotation works on this dongle. First you have to navigate to the more settings area. Then to display settings and enable the auto rotation option. Once you have enabled this feature, you then return to the apps section and run a screen rotation app in portrait mode. It appears that screen rotation does not work on this dongle. I will now check to see if the X96S is rooted. The results show that the dongle is rooted, running on Android 8.1 Oreo operating system. This feature grants you the freedom to install any app from the Google Play Store, or sideloaded apps via APK downloads without restrictions. The only setback with root access, is that it limits the DRM permissions for Netflix to show in HD and 4K quality. I would also like to remind you not to install the super user app and try to update the box, because it will crash your box and put it into a permanent boot loop that cannot be fixed by a simple firmware reset. It will require a flash of the firmware to restore it, and you will lose all your apps and personal settings. I now show the digital rights management information. The results show that the box has support for Google Widevine Level 3 and no HDCP protection. This means that Netflix will only show in standard quality, regardless of what package you are paying for. You will need Google Widevine Level 1 for Netflix to show in HD and 4K quality, and that can only be provided by a licensed developer. I will now take a more comprehensive look at its system and hardware information. Under system information, it shows that the manufacturer is M-Logic, and the model is the X96S. The board in use is listed here as the P281, so all who are in possession of a custom Android ROM for this board, this dongle is compatible with your software. It comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. This here is the remainder of the storage after the Android installation and apps installed. The Bluetooth version is 4 plus, indicating the version is higher than 4.0. Under CPU information, it shows that the CPU is a 64-bit quad-core Cortex-A53 CPU running up to 1.8 GHz in 32-bit mode. The board is configured with support for only 32-bit ABIs, allowing it to access up to 4 GB of RAM and compatible with most 32-bit applications and processes. Under Display, 
It shows that the GPU is the single-core Mali G31 GPU, with a refresh rate of 60Hz and OpenGL ES 3.2 support, which adds some gaming power to this dongle. Under Network, it shows that the box has dual-band 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi support. Under Android Information, it shows that the operating system is Android 8.1 Oreo, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under Thermal Information, it shows that the operating temperature holds between 40 to 55 degrees Celsius, and this can rise up to 60 degrees under heavy activity. The box comes with all the necessary codecs needed for the playback of 4K media like HEVC, H.264 and VP9 decoding. And that's it for system and hardware information, and now let's take a look at some benchmarks. First I will show the results of the RAM copy and internal storage read and write speeds. It shows that the X96S has a RAM copy speed of 3459 MB per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 39 MB per second and a write speed of 45. The RAM copy speed is consistent with most of the MLogic S905X2 boxes. However, the internal storage read and write speeds are a bit lower, which is expected due to the small nature of this device. Now I move on to a critical feature of this dongle which is the Wi-Fi speed test. Seeing that this dongle does not have a LAN port, it is of prime importance that it has good Wi-Fi reception. The results show that on the 5 GHz band the X96S has maximum download and upload speed on my 60 MB internet package. However, on the 2.4 GHz band it was only able to max out around 50 MB. This means for the best performance, I recommend that you use the 5 GHz band. The 2.4 band will work fine on most standard routers, but dual band AC 5 GHz routers yields the highest speeds and fastest data transfers. I now show the results of the Antutu benchmark. The Antutu benchmark gives a score derived from tests taken on the CPU speed, RAM and GPU performance. After all tests were completed, the X96S got an Antutu score of 57,379. This score is really good for a TV dongle, and it even scored higher than the Tanix TX5 Max that scored around 56,000. Next I show the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. This test focuses solely on CPU performance by performing a series of time tasks, where the faster the CPU completes each tasks the higher the score. The X96S got a score of 700 single-core, and 2050 multi-core. This score is consistent with other S905X2 boxes. The final results is from the Treaty Mark Gamers benchmark application that focuses solely on GPU graphics performance, and tailored a series of tests to suit your device's GPU. This dongle comes with OpenGL ES 3.2 support which qualifies it to run the Ice Storm Extreme test and the Slingshot test. After both tests were complete, the dongle got a score of 4,829 in the Ice Storm Extreme test, and 493 in the Slingshot test. Again, the score here being slightly higher than the Tanix TX5 Max. So that's the end of the benchmarks, and I will now focus on the entertainment features of the dongle. I will start with Netflix. Netflix comes pre-installed on the dongle and it works by simply logging in with your username and password. I will now check with my HD account to see what's the highest quality we can get. From a movie description, there isn't any HD symbol indicating that you can play this movie in HD quality. This means that Netflix plays up to standard quality on this dongle, and this is because it does not have the required Google Widevine level support that we saw just a while ago. So moving on to YouTube. YouTube comes pre-installed on this dongle, and it is the Android TV version. So I will now play a YouTube video to see what's the highest quality we can get.
the Android TV version plays up to 4K quality on this dongle. For those of you who are interested in casting your mobile device to the dongle, it comes pre-installed with the AirScreen app. This app is also available for free on the Google Play Store, and it's an all-in-one casting app consisting of Miracast, AirPlay, Chromecast, and DNLA. I will now cast my Android cell phone using Miracast. So Miracast works fine on this box and there's very little lag in the response. I will now play some 4K video samples.
Most of the 4K samples in my list, with MPEG-4, TS and MKV formats and at 60 frames per second played really well. However, two of the samples the Jellyfish video and the Cambodia video had some issues. For my final demonstration I am playing my regular set of Android games. I am going to put this GPU to the test and see if the Mali G31 in this small form factor design can perform as well as its TV box counterparts. So let's watch as I play these games, and I will also be testing for gamepad key mapping capability. Well this attack, in a goal, and it leads to this shot. That's a decent effort. The height was the problem though in the end. Here he is with a chance. It's got to be. What a brilliant goal. Dangerous moment. Here's the chance, and it's in the net for the goal. That's a great ball. He's got to score. Keeper picked his moment and got it absolutely right. No margin for error, Alan. No, quite right. I mean, how many times do we see a... Hold up, Alan. These traps were running back in the war, but they were not automated. Oh. 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 So after a performance like that, I must say I am really impressed with how well this dongle can play Android games. To be quite honest, this TV dongle outperformed some of the regular TV boxes with similar specs, and that's a great achievement for this dongle with gamepad keymapping capability, and without overheating. This is the first TV dongle ever I can safely say is great for gaming, and it shows that the Mali G31 continues to make great inroads for 2019. So in summary. The Acemax X96S is the first TV dongle I have ever reviewed that performs as well as a TV box in its class. Let's take a quick recap of what makes it a great device. 
First, the dongle is the first of its kind in the S905X2 line. The model featured in this video has 4GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. The CPU is clocked at 1.8GHz. The GPU is the Mali G31. You have dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1. The dongle is rooted. You have firmware updates. You can use alternative launchers. Netflix installs and plays directly from the Google Play Store. Kodi and streaming APKs work perfectly. 4K video playback is good. Miracast on the AirScreen app works well. YouTube plays in 4K quality. You have good 3D gaming and gamepad keymapping functionality. The benchmark scores are good among boxes carrying similar specs. And it operates within safe operating temperatures. On the downside, you cannot add shortcuts to the launcher. The launcher does not come with a navigation bar or notifications bar. The dongle needs a second USB port. There is not enough DRM support for Netflix to show in HD or 4K quality. The 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band could not hit the maximum speed of my internet package. The launcher cannot go into portrait mode. And at least two of the 4K videos had some issues. So I have come to the end of my review. I don't usually recommend TV dongles because most of them either suffer from poor performance or overheating. But this is not the case with the X86S. This TV dongle is a great movie streamer, and an impressive gamer. If you are wondering where to get this TV dongle for sale at the lowest price and with fast delivery, see the link in the description area directly below this video or on my website for more information. Thanks for watching. It was a pleasure doing this review for my subscribers, and if you liked this video be sure to give it the thumbs up. Share this video in whichever way to support my work and maintain this channel. And if you are new to my channel and you like my videos, hit the subscribe button and the little notifications bell, to be notified when the next great TV Box Stop video is released. This is Nick signing off, and see you in the next one.